Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today we're going to be talking about a very important subject and that is e-bike fires. This is also related to electric scooter fires, basically lithium-ion battery fires in general, but we often hear about them during the discussion of e-bikes. And by the way, real quick, at the end of this video, I'm going to be giving away this e-bike. This is the Velotrick Discover, an awesome ride, so make sure you stick around to the end to see how you could win this e-bike. Now let's start by framing this concept of electric bike fires. Now this is a serious subject. This does happen, but it has been blown way out of proportion by the media. And so while e-bike fires do happen, an important thing to keep in mind is that the number is significantly smaller than the way it looks on the news. Most of the e-bike fires we hear about on the news are actually not even e-bikes. They're super cheap Asian imported electric scooters, usually sort of non-street legal moped style things that are often used by delivery workers and other folks who are looking for just the cheapest form of transportation so they can get out there and do their job. Nothing against them, I totally understand, you know, when you're bringing home dollars every day it's important that you maximize your profit, so I get that, but generally speaking we're talking about these super cheap electric scooter type vehicles. That doesn't mean this is not an important topic though, and yes, there are e-bike fires every year. And so let's talk about this from a few different perspectives, both if you're looking for a new e-bike and you wanna know, you know what to look for, and if you've already got an e-bike and you wanna know how to keep it safe. Now let's start when you're looking for a new e-bike. One of the most important factors these days is to look for safety certification. UL listing is generally considered to be the golden standard. UL listing underwriter laboratories, they go through e-bikes as well as batteries. They have different listings for each one, different certifications, and they do a number of tests. Fireproof is only one of them. They make sure that the batteries aren't gonna catch on fire during charging, discharging, but there are other issues that lead to battery fires. Things like water getting into the battery, uh, vibration shock, that kind of thing that they also test for to make sure that things are super safe. In fact, this e-bike here, the Velotrick Discover, has a UL certified battery. If you come and look, right here on the head tube, there's actually a UL certified sticker. It's one of those uh, holographic stickers that lets you know that this is in fact a safe certified e-bike. Now there are other safety standards out there. UL listing is popular in the US, but there are others. There are uh, several German standards. There's other European standards elsewhere in the world. So UL listing is not the only one out there. It is an important one, especially because in many places in the US, they're starting to discuss laws that are gonna require UL listed batteries or UL listed e-bikes and outlaw the sale of other e-bikes that don't meet those specifications. It's already happening in New York City and it's very likely gonna happen in other places as well. Now, if you already have an e-bike, there are some other things to consider here. The most important one is always charging with your stock charger. Use the charger that came with your e-bike because a lot of e-bike fires actually start when people get an aftermarket charger. Either it's the wrong one or it's too high of a power and it causes the battery to overcharge or it does it at too high of a rate that causes the battery to overheat. There are all sorts of ways this can happen, but basically the most important thing here is to make sure that your charger is the one that comes from the e-bike company that made your bike. It is possible to get aftermarket chargers that work just fine. I'm not saying that you can't do that, but it is incredibly important that you match the voltage and the power rating. And if you're not versed in those things, then the best thing you can do is just use the charger that came with your e-bike, or if that charger is lost or broken or anything like that, go back to the e-bike company and just order a replacement charger from them. Next, you want to avoid charging overnight. I know this is hard to do because many people use their e-bike during the day and they charge it up overnight while they sleep, but it's generally recommended not to do this. The reason is that if something were to happen while the e-bike was charging, which is the most likely time for a fire to happen, you're not awake, you're not there to deal with it, and you're in fact in the most vulnerable position possible. So if you use your e-bike daily, consider charging it right when you get home so it's charging during the day still while you're awake and you're able to deal with it if there is an issue. Next, if there's ever a problem with your battery, it's best not to try repairing it yourself. Now I know I've personally made a lot of videos about battery repair, about battery building, and if you are well versed in battery building, then this is something that can be done, but if you do not have skills here, if you don't have any experience, please do not open up your battery and try to do this yourself. It's not even advisable to take it to a battery repair place unless you know this is a certified battery repair company that the vendor of your e-bike already works with. If you just go to some you know, mom and pop or hole in the wall place and they say, oh yeah, you know, we'll fix your battery for you. This is actually the cause of many of these e-bike fires because lots of times these shops are not certified. They don't really know what they're doing. The moral of the story here is go to someone who has experience, has the skills, and is certified to do this kind of work. Next, know the warning signs of a battery fire. Again, this will normally happen while charging. It's not something that usually happens just randomly, though it can. So while
while you're charging, if you notice that the battery or charger are getting way too hot, that's an early warning sign. Now the battery and the charger will heat up while charging. A little bit of heat, that's fine. You don't need to worry about that. But if it's too hot to touch, that's an issue and you need to stop charging. Next, if the battery seems like it's expanding, if it's swelling at all, that's not a good sign. If there's smoke or the smell of burning plastic, again, not a good sign. Any of these things that seem like out of the ordinary, like the battery is getting too hot or starting to smolder, all of these mean you need to stop charging the battery and get it outside somewhere safe. Now, some people actually charge in a fireproof box. They make special battery bags or battery boxes for charging. Some people even just put the battery inside of their barbecue, which is a pretty safe place to do it. Obviously don't turn the barbecue on, but it is a box designed to contain fire. Some people will put their battery in the oven. Again, make sure the door is open and you're not gonna actually turn it on. I guess you have to get the wires in there anyway but there are some sort of fireproof boxes that you can use if you're really worried about it. Most people probably don't need to go this far, but it is some added peace of mind if that's something you're looking for. Personally, I'm really drawn to lithium iron phosphate batteries over lithium ion batteries because of the significantly reduced risk of fire. But if you use a proper lithium ion battery that's built correctly and you use the proper charger, the risk of fire is already so low that it's not that big of a difference. Now, what do you do if you're using an e-bike and the battery starts catching on fire? Well, if you're riding it, the very first thing to do is just hop off, get off the bike, get away from it. If it's just starting to smoke or smolder and you can drag it to somewhere safe, that's a good idea. You know, try not to leave it in the middle of your garage or in the middle of the road or something like that. Get it into a flat open area where it's unlikely to catch anything else on fire. But the most important thing is just get off, get away, call the fire department, call 911, whatever your local emergency number is. Most e-bike fires don't happen while you're riding them though. Again, they happen while charging. So what do you do then? If you see that the battery is starting to smoke, again, just unplug it immediately, stop the charging, get away from the battery, separate yourself. Now, if it's not yet on fire, but it seems like it is going that way, if you can get the battery out of your house, out of your apartment, out of your garage, that's always better. A lithium ion battery fire is nearly impossible to put out. Once it starts, the biggest danger is that it catches other things on fire. So if it is not yet on fire and you can just, you know, chuck it out a window, chuck it out your front door, even get it into the front lawn, onto the driveway, something like that, that's much better. If it's already on fire though, just get out. Get yourself out, get your family out, get everyone away from the fire. At this point, again, first thing, call 911, call fire department. But if you can, try and douse the battery with water. You're not gonna put the fire out. You typically need a very special type of fire extinguisher for lithium ion fires. Even a normal extinguisher is not gonna put it out. But the more water you can get on it with like a garden hose, the better because it keeps it cooler, it keeps the fire from spreading as quickly, and it prevents the fire from spreading to other things around it, other furniture, trees, whatever. But the moral of the story here is if you do find yourself with an e-bike battery fire, which again is incredibly rare, but if it happens, the most important thing you can do is get yourself away from it. If it's possible to get it away from other things that can catch on fire, that's great, but only do that if it feels safe. If it doesn't, simply get away from it and call the authorities. Now, in my entire e-biking career, which has lasted uh, since about 2009, I think, so something like 14 years now, in the, I wanna say hundreds, but probably thousands of e-bikes I've touched and worked on at this point, I've only ever seen one battery come close to fire. It was early in my career while I was working in an e-bike shop, doing repairs on a bike, and the battery just started smoking. I basically dragged the bike out, threw it into the parking lot, and that was it. The battery smoked for a while, but it did not ultimately fully catch on fire. I think the fire department just you know, dragged it away and did something with it, but that was the closest I've ever come, and I have touched way more e-bikes than probably anybody who is watching this video is ever going to. So the risks here, I don't wanna make it seem like this is something that is likely gonna to happen to you. In fact, it will likely never happen to you, but it is important to know this information just in case it does ever happen. Okay, now that we got the scary stuff out of the way, let's have a little bit of fun. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be giving away this e-bike. This is the Velotrick Discover. It is part of a program I've started called e-bikes for good. Basically, the way it works is at the end of every one of my videos, I'll be giving away an e-bike to somebody in need. This time, I wanna give a big thank you to Velotrick, who has generally sponsored this giveaway to help me do this. How is this gonna work? If you are someone in need, maybe you need an e-bike to get around, get to work, get back into shape, that sort of thing, but you cannot afford one due to any number of circumstances in your life, let me know. If an e-bike can help you get to a better place in life, then I wanna help you do it. 
just head over to ebikeschool.com slash ebikesforgood. I'll put the URL down here at the bottom of the screen. There's a form there you can fill out. Let me know what your situation is. And at the end of my next video, there will be a random drawing to select one person to win this e-bike. The Velotric Discover is an awesome e-bike. It has a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. That's 691 watt hours, which is pretty darn big. If you're using one of the five levels of pedal assist, that's basically gonna last you all day. Even rocking around on throttle only, it's got a great range. On throttle, it can get up to 20 miles an hour. Same thing on level five pedal assist but if you unlock it, it'll actually go up to 25 miles an hour, which makes it even more effective as a transportation type vehicle if you're using it to replace a car or if you can't afford a car and you just need to get around quickly. I love the step through design that they have it in a step over as well. In fact, I really like this color. This is the spring color, though they've got a number of interesting colors to choose from as well. The bike comes with hydraulic disc brakes, seven speed Shimano transmission. Basically, it is just an awesome commuter get around type of bike. Whether that's getting yourself to work, getting uh, groceries, you can add rack on the back, getting in some fitness as well, you know, getting some pedal assist in, getting yourself back into shape. It is perfect for so many different things. So I am very excited to get this e-bike out to somebody. Make sure you head on over to ebikeschool.com slash ebikes for good to enter the giveaway if you're someone who thinks that this could really benefit you. Now to announce the winner of the e-bike from my last video, and the randomly selected entrant is... Stephen E., who shared his situation of needing an e-bike to get to the grocery store, doctor's appointments, and other around-the-town trips despite not having a driver's license. I think we're going to be able to help you out, Stephen. So congratulations. I'm excited to get that e-bike out, and I am also excited to see who is going to win the Velotric Discover here. So make sure you enter. Last but not least, before we go, it's time to announce the randomly selected commenter for my last video who's going to win a free copy of one of my books. And the randomly selected winner is... Cyclonic Cleo. So congratulations, just use the email that popped up above, let me know which one of my books you'd like. You can choose from my DIY lithium batteries, DIY solar power, the ultimate do-it-yourself e-bike guide, or my latest book, The Electric Bike Manifesto. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, just put a comment down below this video. You can say anything you'd like really, and hopefully you will be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. If you don't wanna wait that long to hopefully win one of my books for free, you can always find them on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you here next time.